All right, let me quickly explain my preload project. What we're looking at on the screen here is a list of all the easiest Xbox games that have come out in 2021. Uh, these here are games under an hour. Um, these are all the ones that I haven't played yet. And there's a lot of them. You know, compared to five, ten years ago, there are a lot more easy games coming out these days than ever before. So what normally happens is a game like Butterfly comes out. Uh, this one in particular is up to 3,000 gamer score. So you download the game, you pay your five dollars, play through the game. Five, 10, 15 minutes later, something like that, you've got 3,000 gamer score. And then you move on. You know, delete the game, you move on. You hope to have a decent experience with the game, especially all these new easy games that don't offer much value as far as gameplay, but hey, they pad your gamer score. But you know, most people just play the game, try to get as much enjoyment out of it as they can, see their gamer score go up and move on. Uh, but in this preload project that I'm working on, the idea is not to play one game and move on, it's to gather as many games as possible and figure out how many points can I earn in 24 hours. True Achievements has a statistic called best days. If you go to your stats and click on best days, it'll tell you what is the best number, your highest amount of gamer score that you've earned in 24 hours. So obviously looking at this graph, I've done this a couple times. You know, back in September of 2019, I set aside a bunch of games trying to get 50,000 points in one day. I think I would have got there except Xbox Live went down due to the Gears of War launch, but forget about that. Um, my personal best was April of 2018. At the time, I had spent a year trying to get as trying to gather as much as I could, and ended up getting 69,000 points. That record um, held steady for three years. And then recently we have a cool guy named Unmet Player and he broke my record. So let me just pull up his stats real quick. Best days, I think he's around the same time zone. But as you can see, 82,000 points in one day. You know, it's quite impressive. He's got 908 achievements in one day. Um, so it's a matter of finding the easiest games and just playing them all back to back to back and trying to squeeze out as many points as humanly possible in one day. So that's what I'm going to attempt is to take back the record and see how many points I can get in 24 hours.